What's up guys, this is Lone Ninja wearing aviators and a Superman hat and this is another episode of Combat for Dummies. This time we go through the simple and possibly most famous technique, the karate chop. Alright guys, so I gotta be real with you right now. I'm sorry if this um, breaks some of your hearts, but it's not only karate that has this chop. There's actually a lot of martial arts that have this chop. The martial arts I train in major the majority of the time, Tong Su Do also has this chop. We call it a knife hand chop. Why? Because it uses the knife part of your hand, what we call it the knife part of your hand. So there's a couple things you're gonna wanna know before you, you know, go and knife hand chop. Number one is absolutely do not hit with your fingers. If you hit a hard object like a brick with your fingers, you will break all of them. Guys, I'm, I'm not kidding. It will hurt a lot. So for your sake, don't hit with your fingers. Condition only hitting with this part of your hand, the, the meat part of your hand. There should be a lot of meat down at this point. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna stick all your fingers together. Make sure they are together. You're gonna tuck your thumb in as tight as possible. Now, once your hand is like this, you're going to flex this part of your hand. You're gonna flex it as tight as you can. Now, it's not gonna, it seems weird. It might feel weird at first, but once you practice it, it'll, you'll get the habit of instantly doing that. Now, once you have that solid surface, you should be able to hit and it not hurt. If you're hitting with loose hands and it hurts to, you know, hit hard, you're doing it wrong. Ooh, gotta pop my wrist. But if you can hit and it not hurt, you're doing it right. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to use your entire body motion to put in your chops, whether it comes down or across. Either way, you're gonna wanna use your hip. Your hip is where your power comes from. In Tong Su Do and many other martial arts, almost all martial arts, your hip, your body provides your power, your body provides your strength, not your muscles. I mean, yeah, your muscles are great, it's great to be strong, but as far as fighting and combat, your body, hang on, I don't know if you can hear me with this one, yes, but your body provides all of that um, power in your technique, so when you're doing your chops, swing your entire body into your chops when you're coming down come up and down bang just like that into your chops guys i have witnessed people break into trees dent full oak trees with this chop i've witnessed people chop down not oak but other types of trees you can chop down trees with this technique you can go through bamboo fields wham Chop down bamboo with this technique. This is an incredibly powerful technique. This is this has the ability to break bones. If you hit the right targets, which I might go into later, you can kill people instantly with this technique. But it has to A be done correctly, B be done safely, and C be done accurately in order for it to work. So practice that technique. Bang. Bang. Across. Or down practice those techniques with both hands so you can get used to making that motion with your hands making that um tight shape tight um position with your hands don't get in the habit of opening your fingers hitting with your fingers or keeping your thumb out because i'm telling you from experience getting your thumb caught in clothes sucks breaking your thumb also sucks so don't do either of those things all right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Before we end off, I just wanna let you guys know a couple things. Uh, for those of you who have been watching this series, I appreciate you, it's gonna keep going. Uh, as you know, in a video I've already released, or I hope you know, they're gonna be coming out a little less often, probably more like once a week, maybe twice a week if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling froggy. But I'm also gonna be including into this series um, different types of video game moves, different types of um, comic book moves, maybe some, you know, moves you've seen in TV and movies and anime. I want, so with all that said, I want to take those moves that you see in those shows, maybe the Kamehameha, maybe, you know, um, a Batman move from Injustice. I want to take those and make it real. I want to do like the Hacksmith and make it real. So if that interests you, at all 
send me your best ideas down in the comments and if you are the person that gave me the idea to do a certain move i will 100 percent give you a shout out in that video if you are the person that gave me that idea if you're not sorry that's, you, you gotta be the first first come first curves that's kind of how it works but hopefully you guys can give me some great ideas i'm looking forward to it uh and i'm looking forward to seeing how this channel grows in the future but speaking of if you are not subscribed already definitely subscribe hit that bell so you don't miss my posts and like this video so i know i'm doing it the right way till next time my name is dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out